Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Sunday, August 19th, 9.13 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. What you're looking at is the GFS model of Hurricane Lane through midday Thursday. You can see it affecting the southern tip of the Big Island by that time. The ECMWF model does not show it hitting the Big Islands, but the GFS is pretty consistent. And it looks like a Cat 2-3 is going to hit the southern tip. The area that has been already devastated by the volcanic eruption of Kilauea on Thursday. We're going to get back to this model right now, but it's important for you to grab your boom coffee because we're headed to Boom City and it's boom time. Grand Solar Minimum much? Let's run this through. <laughs> so what it's showing here is that on Thursday afternoon, it's going to be just south of the island creating havoc. And by Thursday night, it's going to be moving up into landfall Thursday evening. We'll run it through here. These are new numbers being crunched. So the eye wall is going to hit the southern tip and move up through Kilauea Kona on the western shore through Friday and dissipate. And look at how the eye wall has jumped back out here to the east. So these numbers are very sporadic and they're changing by the moment. So we're going to keep a close eye on this. This is definitely going to impact the island. Let's let the model run through one more here. Midday Thursday, it's going to head due north, straight up. Look at this change. It almost moves slightly to the east. And there the eye wall hitting sometime at midnight Thursday evening. And this has changed since earlier models which show it showed it coming up to the east here and hitting Honolulu. So anyway, you slice it, rough seas to pound Hawaii as major hurricane lane nears this week. Despite weakening and taking a track south of the Big Island, Major Hurricane Lane will still stir dangerous seas across the Hawaiian Islands this week. Uh, I don't think so. The GFS models are showing some different activity where this moves due north. Thursday afternoon, it goes straight north into the South Island, the Big Island of Kilauea. After peaking at Cat 4 strength earlier this week, Lane is expected to gradually weaken as it tracks westward through the Central Pacific. However, when it makes that dramatic shift northward, it will re-strengthen. Now, we have lava entering the ocean. How warm do you think the waters are off the coast there in the south? So this could be a, a uh, hurricane that strengthens because of the volcanic warming of the southern waters of the Big Island. And this is unprecedented reporting uh, coming out of Oppenheimer Ranch Project. And that's not tonight's first boom, but it certainly is a boom. <laughs> Drought takes its toll on Missouri farmers, crops, and cattle. Coming out today, parts of Missouri are so dry that corn crops are suffering. Their apples look good. Check them out. And hay for cattle is in short supply, with water becoming increasingly scarce. Not only in Missouri, but also in the UK. We'll get to that, experts say. Missouri has been below average rainfall since winter. So as the Four Corners region, the U.S. drought monitor map shows that nearly all of Missouri is experiencing drought with several counties in the northwestern part of the state facing exceptional conditions. Take a look. Cal assists police in arresting a theft suspect. That's totally awesome. And drought taking a toll in Missouri is a Midwest boom. Check out the temperature anomaly, 2 meter in degrees C. Now, this is out through the rest of August. If you come just do the math here, we are below average globally. Yes, below average temperature globally by 0.4 Kelvin. 
This is coming out from the mainstream today. I'm sure they're not happy to see this map. And no media outlets are going to pick up on it because we live in a global warming world and they don't want you to know the truth. Look at how cold it is in Antarctica below normal. <laughs> We're talking 14, 16, 18 degrees below normal. Some over 20 degrees. C, below normal in Antarctica. On average, check out the Northern Hemisphere in summer. Most of it's blue. There is a lot of below normal temperatures all of Canada, half of Greenland. And those are the facts, folks. Keep your eye on the prize. <laughs> Start now. Don't wait. Unsubscribe to all those channels that are lying to you. These are the facts. And this is through August. Experts warn of UK water supply crisis due to hot summers. The warning about the UK's resource follows the driest summer since 1976. That's what you should hone in on, the driest summer. It has nothing to do with the hot summer. The average June temperature was 66 Fahrenheit. If that's hot, then I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> the average summer temperature was 66. They're burning up. But the warning about UK's resource follows the driest summer since 1976, which has nothing to do with heat, you idiots. It has everything to do with global cooling. And we're going to get to this. This is the official average monthly world temperature data from the UK. It's called the Had Crut data, and it's what global warming alarmists are using. And they are, cannot escape the facts. Since 2016, the temperature has been plummeting. Almost one degree C. <laughs> yeah. Experts warn due to hot summers, average temp 66 Fahrenheit. Are you an oxymoron or what? Let's talk to someone who's not an oxymoron, Armstrong Economics, and their earthquake and volcano prediction for August, September 2018. Question, Mr. Armstrong in Singapore, who warned that there would be continued volcanic activity in the Pacific, and the peak in 2018 appeared to be coming into play. Is that still on track? Yes. It seems to actually be coming this week, starting tomorrow and going until the 10th of September. It's just a cyclical period. It's not catastrophic and no need to run and hide under the desk. Well, someone's going to be hiding under the desk. Quake lifted parts of Indonesia Island of Lombok with the 8.2 that just popped off the other day by 25 centimeters. Whew. Thank you, Japan Times, for providing us with factual information. <laughs> Can you imagine? And we're about to go to war with them. Another powerful M7.0 earthquake hits Lombok. Totally flux there. This is cosmic rays heating magma in the subsurface of that volcano on Lombok. Hmm. Little dabble, do you? Just two weeks after devastating 7.0 earthquake, which killed more than 460 people, another earthquake hit the same region. This was August 19, 2018, reporting at a depth of just 10 kilometers at the surface, USGS is reporting M6.9 downgrade service at a depth of 20. This earthquake can have a high humanitarian impact and more people have died. Let's check the facts. 5.2 in Indonesia is the latest aftershock with deep Fiji afterquakes still occurring. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's just come up here on Lombok and see what's the type of activity that's happening here is epic. Our thoughts and prayers go out to these people. Now, this could be associated with a new magmatic activity and a new caldera forming in this region. So we're going to be watching this closely. If there is more surface swelling, we're going to take note. That's magma rising. And in the region here of Fiji, all the quakes have been below 450 kilometers. Here's one at 399. My bad. Now, below 400 kilometers, all quakes. 
and they're in multiple regions. So they're just not isolated to where the major shock took place 24 hours ago. There are some major activity to the north here, 100 miles to the north. So we're not done with the activity in this region because as the blot echo theory goes, energy at depth can translate to the surface in a greater magnitude. So as predicted, seismic activity worldwide is increasing, but we're also at that flexure of the solar polar fields, and we're waiting on that for confirmation that this 8.2 is it. It might just be a precursor to a much bigger event. That's a heads up. Alert level for Hawaii's Kilauea volcano has been downgraded. Worldwide volcano news update, Dukono and Sabankaya, sporadic puffs from Sabankaya, volcanic ash from Dukono. We also have Fuego, Sakurajima exploding in the last 24 hours, and Heard Island volcano in Australia, likely new eruption since 2018. This volcano is nicknamed Big Ben, and scientists witnessed amazing eruptions on this remote Australian sub antarctic island recently. Look at this little stratocone up top. Boop. <coughs> Are you starting? Are you preparing? It's not only the grid failure we have to be worried about. It could be a major volcanic event, VEI-8. We do not know, but... Heard volcano is not going to be the VEI-8. It, it erupts VEI-2 sporadically. The eruptive history is limited, and it only goes back to 1881. So maybe this baby has had more major events. It is a large stratocone. It could blow its entire top off. It does look particularly rounded, like it's swollen with magma. So that's just my observation. Global warming can make extreme weather worse. Now scientists can say by how much. Do you know how they do that? They lie. <laughs> do you know why? Because here's the data. The earth is rapidly cooling over the last two years. It's becoming so apparent that no one can do anything about it. This is the Had Crew data set, which is the last. It's even been manipulated by NASA and NOAA, and it still shows no global warming since 1997. In fact, we've returned to baseline, and I showed you the temperature data coming out for the next, the rest of August, showing that we're below average global temperatures by 0 0.04 for the first time ever in the whole global warming narrative. Global warming has become a total lie and a farce. Anyone that believes it, deserves to be consumed by the masses when we're starving. Global warming has stopped. It's turned downward, and I just showed you the data. And here's a link to an excellent article about British had crew data proving it. Whose climate and whose ethics? It's our climate. And if, they, if the nonsense continues to hap happen, solar geoengineering is going to be unrolled before your very eyes. It's going to make things much worse. Talk about tensions. Yeah. There is no warming. The narrative has shifted. It has become so insanely far false that it is a farce. If you're picking up what we're putting down and you understand about science and data, you will know that a time that we're going into for the next decade or two or three or 50 are going to be unprecedented. The weather events and catastrophes that will unfold before your very eyes will be beyond description. The had crew data is now undeniable. I don't know how they're going to fudge these numbers. But keep your eye on the downward arrow. It's where we're headed. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing, and that's a boom. We love each and every one of you. Start now. Don't wait. Be safe.